Harmer Township sits in the upper right corner of Allegheny County of Pennsylvania. The township encompasses about 6.4 square miles with the Allegheny River on one side and the Bessemer and Lake Erie Railroad running through the heart of the township. During a feasibility study of the township in the 1950s, it was shown that this area could be a viable location for distribution centers and light manufacturing operations. Early in 1955, the Bessemer and Lake Erie Railroad purchased 150 acres of land east of its main line in Harmer. The BNLE's intention was to generate new customers through the development of an industrial district, the Allegheny Industrial District, or the AID as it was called. The industrial park would be Greater Pittsburgh's first railroad-sponsored planned industrial park. The agreement was that the BNLE would underwrite the initial costs of the project. The development authority would repay the BNLE over a 10-year period. Groundbreaking ceremonies took place in July of 1955, and by January of 1957, the BNLE pushed its first train into the Allegheny Industrial District. The train was composed of three cars, all bound for the new GMC Truck and Coach Division Parts Warehouse, one of the new tenants of the development. The BNLE aggressively promoted this development through magazines and newspaper advertisements, and they adopted the slogan, The Bessemer Man Was Happy to Help. Other customers served by the railroad in the development located included the Stanton Steel Corporation, which was a distributor of steel plate, tin plate, and other steel-related products, the Stover & Company, a bakery supply distributor, and Action Industries Incorporated, a manufacturer and importer of hardware and housewares. The map seen here is a basic overview showing the Bessemer and Lake Erie main line, the red line indicating the spur off of the BNLE up and into the industrial park and the businesses the spur served. Here is a USGS survey map showing a little more detail, a little more topographical features of the same area, the Bessemer and Lake Erie Railroad, and the spur running up to the AID Industrial Park. And one final map, the same USGS survey map with all the clutter removed. You could see the Bessemer and Lake Erie Railroad and the spur line running up into the industrial district. Our trip will start here on the bridge on Jacoby Road which crosses the main line B and LE. On the opposite side of the bridge is the beginning of Nixon Road. If anyone remembers the Little Deer Creek Railroad, which ran from the Indianola Mine in Indianola, Pennsylvania, to the main line of the Bessemer and Lake Erie Railroad. If you remember from that video, the Little Deer Creek Railroad crossed Jacoby Road right about here.
I'm going to start my walk here and continue on down the main line B and L E until I locate the switch and the spur line that carries the tracks to the industrial district. This walk will take about a half an hour and all the time the industrial district will be on my left hand side. Who can identify what this is? Hidden in the wooded area, well off the railroad tracks, is a concrete form that's been here for some time. It appears to me to be a fuel storage support, an oil storage support. We can see the spur line now climbing the grade toward the industrial park. I'm walking the spur line now, climbing the grade, looking back down over to main line B and L E. This short section of track goes to a rail oriented business. This section here is of a newer variety and was not part of the original AID development. We are looking at the switch and the tracks that go into Action Industries. Here is a view looking back. We see the tracks switching and curving into action industry. We can follow the tracks across the pavement and into the door.
this red brick building right along Nixon Road and the rail line was Stanton Steel. The AID tracks will cross Nixon Road and continue on to its other customers. Obviously, this section of track hasn't been used for quite some time. Rail service to Stanton Steel was terminated years ago. The tracks were lifted, the rails removed, all that remains is the parking lot asphalted over. I am currently standing in that parking area. I remember the tracks entering one of the two doors seen here. Here is the switch that would have routed the tracks to the Stover operation and the GMC parts warehouse. Stover and the GMC would have been the tracks arcing to the right, the tracks going straight ahead, terminated just several hundred feet ahead. There's a large pile of railroad ties piled on top of the track, but I'm going to continue walking to the end of the line. A tree can be seen growing over the steel rail. And now we reach the terminus of the AID line. The tracks that once serviced Stover and GMC still there, still intact. They run between the two buildings as seen and almost to Russellton Road, which would be straight ahead. Stover is the last remaining original tenant of the AID. I am on Russellton Road now at the terminus of the Stover and GMC rail line. Stover discontinued rail service years ago. Currently, this business relies on truck transport. And lastly, the GMC Truck and Coach Parts Warehouse. As seen today, their main entrance was off of Russellton Road.
walking around the corner of the former GMC building, the rail service is right here, next to Stover's. Does anyone remember the video of the Harwick Mine and the C&H Railroad that serviced it? The C&H branched off in two directions, connected with the Pennsylvania Railroad down in Cheswick. The second branch connected with the B&LE along this section of track as seen from the Red Arrow. I single out Action Industry as I remember this business well. After high school, I went there to fill out a job application.